Hello and welcome to the Disbursement Entry video tutorial for Easy Law. Work in Progress Disbursements or Unbilled Disbursements or Unbilled Expenses all describe the same thing. These are costs that you have incurred on client files, either internally or externally, that you need to recover. If you write a check directly to a client file for a specific cost incurred on that file, you do not need to then post a disbursement entry. Disbursement entries can also be edited, transferred, and written off after they have been posted. You cannot enter disbursements for files that have inactive responsible lawyers. It is important that if your firm charges taxes to clients that the taxes are correctly recorded on disbursements for billing purposes. Taxes are calculated based on the tax settings on the disbursement codes used when entering transactions. Therefore, use a non-taxable code for a non-taxable disbursement transaction and a taxable code for a taxable disbursement transaction. Taxable codes can also have an option for tax included yes or no. You need to set up your codes based on the vendors that you use and whether or not your firm charges taxes. Disbursement entries debit work in progress disbursements and credit specific disbursement recovery general ledger accounts. Click enter disbursements to proceed. Enter the date of your disbursement entry or press enter for today's date. Enter the client number or press F5 for a list to choose from. Optionally enter a reference number. For example, if you are entering a courier charge, you may want to record the waybill number. Enter the disbursement code or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Enter the appropriate general ledger expense account for the type of disbursement you are entering or press F5 to display a list to choose from. You will be prompted to make this the default for the disbursement code. Click Yes. Complete the description if necessary. You can also press F5 to choose another disbursement code description. Otherwise, your description is actually the description to the right of the code field. If the disbursement code has a unit rate, enter the quantity. Otherwise, enter the amount. If your disbursement code has a fixed rate, the amount will display automatically. Ensure you enter the correct amount based on the disbursement code tax settings. If the disbursement code is taxable for tax 1 and or tax 2, the tax will calculate automatically. Tax calculated in disbursement entry does not update the general ledger tax accounts until you actually bill the disbursement. Click Save. Continue entering transactions as necessary. You can access the unposted tab to edit and delete your transactions. Remember that you can exit without posting and continue entering transactions at a later time. Click Post to finish. Disbursement entry automatically defaults to enter noted above the date field, but you can also reverse previously posted disbursement entries that have not been billed or written off. Simply click on reverse followed by the client number and then select the disbursement entry to reverse. The entry will display on the screen where you have the option to specify the reversal date or leave the date the same as the original disbursement entry and then save the reversal. Thank you for watching the disbursement entry video tutorial.